So during this first demo, I'm going to walk you through a couple of the items that are available online in order to discover more about privacy and compliance in the cloud. So it all starts with the Microsoft Trust Center, which is available on Microsoft.com. And that shows you basically the different aspect of what trusted cloud means for us, which is security, privacy, compliance, and transparency. So let's explore first one of the first pillar of that, which is privacy. So you can find there a couple of resources that what is privacy at Microsoft and more specifically, we are here in the cloud governance and policy. And of course, you find here all the documentation around what does it mean to be uh, compliant in terms of uh, regulatory uh, requirements, uh, but also very fundamental questions like how do you protect my uh, data privacy? Where is my data? And that throughout the whole data life cycle in, uh, in the cloud. So you can find all documentation supporting that, including, you see, as you see here, resources like ISO 2718. Now, when you go to privacy, of course, one of the very important aspects that we see right now is uh, GDPR. So despite being defined first in uh, EU and applicable mainly in, in EU, actually it's applicable everywhere as long as you're processing data that are related to European citizens. So on uh, the Trust Center, you can find additional documents and additional resources on how uh, Azure or different other Microsoft technology help you being compliant with GDPR. So of course, the identity and the data protection technology, but also the security technologies that are available uh, in the cloud. Also, Azure and Office 365 helps you with the DSR, the data subject request. So basically customer or users might ask you with the providing all the data that you have around them in the cloud. So uh, you have to respond timely to that. So Azure helps you into this particular process of GDPR compliance. A little bit closer to us in Asia Pacific, uh, we have also the DPA, so the Data Protection Act of the Philippines in 2012, and you can see that basically you have all the resources, same thing online, to describe you the different steps of being compliant with that. In terms of uh, compliance, one very important aspect is in uh, Singapore and in the region as well is the MTCS. So the MTCS, uh, multi-tier cloud security standard for Singapore, Azure and other Microsoft technology has been compliant with it for years at level three, which is the highest level. So you can find the backgrounder, which shows you basically the fundamentals of uh, MTCS. So you can find here the link to the compliance, uh, the certificate, to the different service of Microsoft clouds that are related, as well as a quick overview of how does it work and what are the different um, level. Now, how do you find all those trust documents? Well, it all starts on servicetrust.microsoft.com. So you need to be authenticated as long as you are an Azure customer, there's no problem for that. And you can find the different sections here. So mainly audit reports, data protection and security and compliance. So if you go to data protection, you will find here a set of documents that are related to the audited control and how does it map with GDPR compliance for basically Azure, Office 365 and other clouds. Then you have compliance guide for different countries and different regulations in terms of data protection. You have a set of uh, frequently asked questions and white paper responses in order to, same thing, provide responses on your security and data protection posture. And you can find also online the pen test and security assessment report that we made uh, available uh, for you to review. In terms of audit reports, uh, this is a very important aspect of compliance. You can review and download here the different documents that are related to ISO, PCI DSS or SOC. So you can not only find uh, the certificate of compliance, but also the detailed audit report to see the different aspects of those compliance. And finally, one important aspect of the Service Trust Portal is you can find the Azure Security and Compliance Blueprint. So if you go there, you can find a set of documents that are basically baselining uh, for different industry or for different type of activities, some of the 
uh, typical architecture that we would recommend and would be compliant with the solution. So here, how do you build a PCI DSS compliant solution in, on top of IaaS or on top of PaaS? Then you have those different options with here for the different modes of deployment, the different uh, basically uh, responsibility metrics and implementation metrics that are responding to those uh, types of architecture. In terms of compliance, I want to finish with one document, which is the Azure Standard Response to RFI on security, privacy and compliance, which is something very useful for uh, customer or for um, partners that are responding to RFI and RFP. And it basically summarizes uh, all our typical uh, our security, privacy and compliance answers, all aligned with the CSA, uh, the Cloud Security Alliance, uh, the CCM version 3, so the cloud control matrix. So it goes through the, all the aspects of it with you, review the different response for the different aspects of privacy, and you can uh, reuse that document or as a baseline for your